In this video, we're going to go over starting a career in Python. So what this particular section is going to cover is a variety of different areas such as freelancing, building a brand, you know, different things that you can really do to be able to put yourself out there and, you know, separate yourself from the competition in the marketplace, right? Because it's very easy for people to learn a little bit of code, you know, get a little bit of experience and then go out there and jump into the marketplace. However, there is a lot of competition out there in the marketplace and there's always going to be competition. However, those that are going to be at the top and really putting themselves in positions to win are those that know how to stand out from the crowd and how to really position themselves as an expert, as somebody who is unique, who is different, who you know has a lot more to offer to organizations you know, than just having the experience, right? So in this particular section, we're really going to go over the different things that you can do to separate yourself from your competition and really put your best foot forward so that you can be the one that the you know employers are actually looking to hire because you've set yourself apart than just having, you know, let's say a degree or even if you don't have a degree, you just have some experience, the different things that you're going to be able to do to put you above those with just an average type of background, you're going to be able to apply to various positions and know that you're always putting yourself in the best possible position to land that particular job. So let's go ahead and jump into the section overview of starting a career in Python. So the first thing that we're going to be going over is freelancing, essentially getting started with you know freelancing with your own different clients, Freelancing is where you're not necessarily a company, you're not a corporation. This is really where you're working with clients on a one-on-one -on -one basis. You're essentially the one that's you know doing all the actual deliverables. You're doing the work yourself. And then you're working on that kind of one-on-one -on -one relationship with the particular client. So we're going to walk through freelancing, the different you know freelancing websites, and essentially show you how to go about getting your freelancing career started. And then we're going to go over building a brand. We're going to show you how powerful building a brand can be if you're looking to take the corporate route, if you're looking to start a company and really position yourself as that expert in the field. And then personal branding, which is similar to building a brand. However, with personal branding, you're essentially going to be the brand. You're going to be positioning yourself in a certain manner that sets you apart from your competition because you're branding yourself in a certain way that lets people know, hey, listen, I am more than just a Python developer, I'm XYZ, and what makes me different is ABC. So I'm gonna show you how to be able to differentiate yourself in that particular lesson, and then after that, we're gonna go over the importance of having a website and a blog. This is going to be huge here, even if you have like a simple you know, website that has you know, yourname.com, where you're maybe having some different articles on there, about your experience, about you know maybe showing people the you know introduction or foundational elements of Python, really just something to be able to put yourself out there as somebody who knows what they're talking about and has the understanding of how to explain it to others, right? So having a website, having a blog is definitely going to be a difference maker, and we'll show you how to go about that in that particular lesson. And then the next thing that we're going to cover is networking. This is so huge when you're starting out your career because to be able to go out there and network with others, with people that you're currently connected with, and then the people that are connected with the people that you know, right? So there's a lot of different ways that we can go about, you know, reaching out to, you know, second tier, third tier connections. And then also, not only that, but how to go about it, right? This is one of the biggest things that I see people have trouble with in terms of connecting with others and being able to network properly. A lot of times people are just going in with selfish type of needs and not necessarily looking to add value. So I'm going to show you some do's and don'ts of networking and how to go about networking the right way. And then we're going to cover some of the top freelance websites where you can get started. I'm going to show you some of the pros and cons of each and what I recommend that you start with as far as the freelance website that is going to be the top or the best for you to actually start off with in the very beginning because some are going to be more advanced than others 
and some are going to be you know a little bit challenging to start with but i'm going to share with you what i feel you should start with and what you should build up to as far as the freelance websites and then finally here we're going to go over creating a resume for a job so one of the most important things after you're able to obviously get the skills and position yourself in a certain manner with online things that you're doing with the personal branding and whatnot right another thing that you want to be able to do is learn how to be able to create a resume that showcases your skills in a precise manner right this is all about building that perception with yourself being that top of the line top tier python developer and it starts with the branding element as well as being able to put your skills your accomplishments on paper right and so that's really important as far as being able to showcase your skills on a paper on the resume and we'll show you how to go about doing that in the best way possible so that's going to be here for this one and we'll see you on the next one